All right, so Georgia um, baseball and basketball Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll start with baseball because they play today. Uh, that game got moved to 3 o'clock versus Northern Colorado. Uh, the uh, link on uh, the link. Anyway, what I'll say in this, it says uh, Georgia plays host to Northern Colorado starting Friday at Foley Field. First pitch will be at 3.02. And the entire series will be streamed on ACC Plus. And, uh, and I apologize, excuse me, I apologize for that. And the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. I, I don't know if it's the first time these two teams have ever played. This marks the first meeting between the Bears and Georgia. So yeah, this is the first time they've played. Charlie Goldstein will start Friday. Late Finley. And uh, the first game Saturday. Not announced for the second one. And Jarvis Evans Sunday. Uh, for baseball, I mean, this is the last uh, important. This is the last series. I was going to say the last important series. I was going to say, well, but what the heck? That wouldn't have, uh, that wouldn't have made sense. But this is the last uh, series before a non-conference play. So, I mean, um. You gotta get ready to go. You gotta, uh. You gotta prepare yourself because. The, I don't know. I tell people this all the time. The SEC is the best baseball conference as far as I'm concerned. Um. So, so many talented teams. Um. I mean, anybody. The, the best team. In the SEC. That that really isn't a best team because man, there there are eight or nine different teams that uh that could win the championship on any given day, in my opinion. So the SEC is absolutely the best baseball conference. Um, I don't care what anybody else says. That's my opinion. Uh, I believe it's the best baseball conference. And then tomorrow, and then tomorrow, which this will be uploaded, uh, no, I'll upload this Sunday, Saturday, so this will be for the basketball game, so today, no, that wouldn't make sense, uh, yeah, it would, so today, so Georgia will be playing to a double, so today this is recorded, Georgia will be playing a double header versus Northern Colorado, so, and then I'll upload a post-game video today. When, yeah, that would make sense. So, later today, uh, Georgia plays Auburn. I apologize for all that. Uh, Georgia plays Auburn. And, uh, you know, some chaos can happen. Uh, Georgia can... Georgia can get the 10th seed. And they would need, I believe, that Georgia needs to be Auburn. And then I believe uh, Texas A&M needs to be Ole Miss. Um, so Georgia could be playing with a 10th seed. I found this last night. Hold on a minute. Let me pull this bracket up. I can read it to you. Uh, right here. So, uh, Georgia above Ole Miss and Arkansas based on round and robin. Yeah, that's not the one I'm looking at. This is it, though. And it would say, here would, here would be the bracket if, um, the stuff I'm talking about happens. So you would have Arkansas and Vanderbilt at 12 and 13. They would play the first game of the SEC tournament. Um, and then the uh, second game would be number 11 Ole Miss and 14 Missouri. And then LSU Mississippi State game three. The winner of Arkansas Vanderbilt uh, game game four versus Florida. Um, Georgia and Texas A&M. And then the winner of Ole Miss and Arkansas Missouri playing Auburn. So. You know, I told somebody last night, maybe, maybe, just maybe, Georgia could go on a run in the uh, in the uh, SEC tournament and, and prove our NIT because NCAA tournament host has been gone for a while now. If we're being honest, but maybe Georgia can return our uh, can win and maybe get our uh, NIT. 
being better because um it matters it matters um I would love people make fun of making the NIT and I tell people this all the time this team this Georgia team has to experience some sort of postseason play. It would improve their self, and it would give them a lot more confidence going into the next season. A lot of y'all forget the NIT at one point was the most prestige NCAA tournament. It was. People used to hang banners for winning the N or They'd still hang banners for winning the NIT, but I mean, it used to be just like a national championship. So to me, to, to see people just consistently make fun of the NIT and stuff, I don't understand it because to me, it, it means that we're going to have more basketball, and that's always a great thing. Uh, and I, 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 I probably speak for majority of Georgia's fan base right here, and uh, I usually don't do that. But we're tired of our season being over the first day of the SEC tournament. We want to have, you want to be in a position where if you lose the first game of the SEC tournament, you still have a game left. And we have not had that at all since 2017. 16. 16, 17. Um, it's just getting to a point where... I, 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 tell, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's, it, it just gets to a point where... Georgia can have a good okay, Georgia. We can have a good regular without this regular season off. Uh, when you look at it from a this season, the twenty three twenty four season. When you look at it from a overall standpoint, it hasn't been that bad of a season. But when you look at it from the last uh, seven eight weeks, Georgia of course losing nine of the last ten. Uh, or I guess that would be uh, winning. I guess that would be nine of the last uh, twelve. Now I guess. No, they've won. They beat. They beat Vanderbilt, Ole Miss since then. But I mean, when you look at it now, I mean, blowing late leads. Um, you know, just blowing late leads, missed opportunities. Of uh, overall, just losing. Considering of where this team was at just uh, a month and a half ago, or two months now. I mean, two months and a half. I mean, um. It absolutely could be upsetting. I mean, at one point, we're 16-14. and 14. At one point, and let's go to our record, at one point, our season changed, in my opinion, after that Tennessee game. The second half of that Tennessee game, six minutes left, our, uh, our season changed. In all honesty, I mean, I'm looking at the schedule. We beat Missouri. We beat Arkansas. Um, we lost to Tennessee, we beat South Carolina, we lost to Kentucky, we beat LSU, and then we came back and sent Florida to overtime. In all honesty, our season has not been the same since that game. And, uh, that sucks. Um, uh, but that's just the unfortunate reality of basketball, right? I mean, you have to play great, and Georgia just has not been able to close out games. It would be nice if Georgia upset Auburn. I actually don't know what rank Auburn would, is going to be coming in in this game. Let me look. Auburn be 13th. This would be a top 15 win. Um, if Georgia could upset Auburn and win maybe one or two in the... You see, that with five games left, we had to discuss, I said, if Georgia could win four of those games and then win... One or two in the SEC tournament. I think Georgia could make the national tournament, but now you're just to a point. If you got to win this game, the only way you're getting a national tournament is if you beat Auburn and maybe you make the championship game and lose. But uh, oh gee, that would hurt because then you were in a championship game, you could have won it. But I mean, anyway, with all that aside, uh, you know, one game left, right? I mean, this is it. This is the regular season finale. I. I have been working hard on the documentary, and then, of course, we'll have everything else after that. But I'm not ready for that yet, because I believe we'll have more basketball to be played. So, Georgia and Auburn, the dogs look to upset the Tigers. Let's get it. Let's go hoop dogs.
improbable, the unthinkable, the unbelievable. They beat Arkansas and go wire to wire to win the SEC tournament.